Well, good morning, traders. Good afternoon, wherever you are. <clears throat> Today is the uh, 4th of November, uh, 2015. And uh, my name is Thomas Ryan. I am the uh, founder publisher of uh, Thomas T. Ryan and Company Daily and Weekly Trading Opportunities, which is a <clears throat> newsletter we put out about 200 trading days a year and uh, gives you uh, a, a daily list of uh, swing trades, daily swing trades, weekly swing trades, <clears throat> entries, exits, stops, targets, and so forth. Join us for a free trial if you like. Usually in these, uh, these um, videos on YouTube, I will do something about a current trade that we are just entering or have entered and, uh, and talk about how we got there, why we're there. Uh, I'm not going to do that today. Today I'm going to continue this uh, series of what we've been doing for a while. Um, on TC2000 and how we uh, how we create great trades in TC2000. Um, if you are just getting started in trading, TC2000 is a fantastic tool. They do not pay me to say that. I'm just doing this because I know a lot of people are interested and uh, although the software is incredibly intuitive and incredibly easy to learn, uh, certainly trading can be overwhelming when you're first getting into it. And the most important thing if you're going to get involved in trading is to find the trades. Sounds like a simple thing, but you need to find among the 8,000 stocks that are out there, plus uh, the, tr the stocks that are positioned correctly and set up correctly to do what you want them to do, and you need them to do it in the time frame that you are trading, whether you're a intraday trader, daily trader, swing trader, weekly, monthly, or you're doing more of an investment analysis for longer term. Uh, you need to be able to find that information that is uh, actionable and moving in the direction that you want in the time frame that you want. Uh, sounds simple, but um, this is something that an awful lot of traders lose sight of. You know, you might think that you are more of a long-term uh, trader investor, but the reality is you may turn out to be more of a short-term trader or vice versa. So TC2000 allows you to take a look at everything that matters out there. Um, this is a uh, one of my favorite screens that we use on the short side when we're looking for daily swing trades and I'm going to show you how I built this so this is how we go into a screener or scan that TC2000 provides this one I've uh, given it the title of overbought daily moving down weekly we focus only on the Standard & Poor's 500 stocks uh, we only focus on stocks that have some higher capitalization. They have plenty of trading volume. We can get in and out of them easily and quickly. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not going to mess around with um, penny stocks or small caps, other things which become problematic to exit or even enter. And uh, I find that the, if you stick with the S&P 500, first of all, there's 500 stocks. If you can't make money across 500 stocks, then you're not doing something right. So there's plenty of stocks there that are moving that you can make money on uh, if you are doing uh, daily trades. And I find also, frankly, you'll, you'll stay out of trouble if you stick to the larger cap S&P 500s. Yeah, the gains on small caps and other stocks are very enticing, but one tends to forget about the potential losses as well. So losses count too. So let's take a look at the S&P 500 and let's take a look at this screen and how we got here. Uh, my uh, look on this screen is to find stocks which are fairly overbought on a daily basis. So again, here is my daily chart right here in the middle. These are weekly, these are monthly, uh, these are hourly, and these are one minute. So right now I'm looking at the daily trades and I want to find, I want to find a, sto a stochastic which is overbought. And uh, so this is my five period stochastic right down here. I'm going to do a right click on that indicator and I'm going to do create scan condition. Any indicator in TC2000 can be turned into a scan on any time frame. That's the amazing power of this. I've not seen this on any other broker platform to be executed as quickly and easily as these guys do it and because this is their only business. And I've been a Platinum subscriber to TC2000 for about four years. Platinum is their real-time uh, service. Okay, what did I just do there? I got rid of it. Let's do that again. Scan. Um, whoops, did I do that right? Right-click on Stochastic. Create scan condition. Looking for Stochastic 5 period, which is greater than 60 on the daily charts. 
add to an existing scan or watch list or create a new one. But let's do add to an existing scan or watch list. And we're going to add to conditions. Now you'll notice we already have this condition on this screen. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the one we just added there. We don't need it twice. Let's look at our next condition, which is I want an exponential moving average 50 moving down weekly. So I'm looking at the 50 period moving average, and I want this to be moving down weekly. So let's do that. E average 50. There's my moving average 50. It's in the, it's in red here. And let's create a scan condition. They have a uh, thing here, which is called moving down smart, moving up smart. It's able to look at um, an indicator, any indicator, moving average, whatever you like over a certain period of time and um, tell whether it's moving up or down. It's a very handy tool. I'm going to look at this over 20 periods. So this is 20 weeks of the moving down 50 period exponential moving average. Add to an existing scan or watch list. And there it is. I'm going to take the latest one that I just added and get rid of it because I don't, again, I don't need it in here twice. And if I want to look at it, I can look at it right here. The one thing I don't like about this is that we selected this to be moving down smart over a 50 week period, I believe is what I just said. And um, you can control the speed of that, which would control the slope. Uh, but this doesn't reflect the uh, period that we selected in here. So that can get a little confusing for you. Anyway, that's I'm going to get rid of that because I don't use that. I use this one right here, which I believe I did 50 on that, but it, it works very well. You can play around with it and see, you know, what what works the way you want it to work. So I'm looking for a exponential moving average that's moving down. This one's moving down. So is this MACD. Very nice. And the Oracle, here this is Oracle. It's well overbought. So that's a potential candidate. Uh, Sherwin-Williams, let's look at that. No, same, well you see you've got a, you've got a, uh, you've got a doji happening there today on Sherwin-Williams. It's extremely overbought. Um, I find generally if you look at the MACD on the dailies and they look like this, you know, straight up gaining momentum still, that's not going to be a short candidate. Same thing in reverse if it's long. So one of the things you want to do is if you want to start seriously considering some of these stocks in this list, is go down a little bit further in the list. Let's go down into the low 80s and let's see what's happening down in there. You will tend to find stocks which are maybe at a turn. And then sure enough, here we have some that look like they're starting to put in some red candles. <clears throat> and this is the kind of condition that I would look for. Johnson Controls, here we are, is a good example. So Johnson Controls has run up, as has everything here, and it's run straight up into this moving average. And you see as it approaches the moving average, it begins to turn red. We have a MACD that is seriously sloped. It's overbought on the weekly. The volume is declining daily. We could be, you know, you, you, what I would do in this is maybe put in a sell stop uh, right under there at the low point. Today's low, and uh, as you can see, it's actually putting in kind of a little bit of a double top here. This thing had a big drop off probably after earnings. It's recovered from that, but the volume is declining. The momentum is leaving it, and chances are good it's going to start to decline. And when and where that's going to happen, that's the tricky part. But um, this is a good candidate for a short, as are a lot of things right now. We This, this little uh, rally we've been in is kind of running out of steam. Here's Bed Bath & Beyond. This is another one of my favorite shorts. We're not shorting it in the letter, but Bed Bath & Beyond. Good store, good company, but, um, you know, very terrible chart. Uh, Lincoln National, the financials, uh, you know, the, the, everything is in this same pattern right now. Almost everything. Uh, we've had this big run up, then we had the fall off in August. We're recovering from that in this, what I think is going to be a counter trend rally, which means we're going to be returning to this downtrend at some point here. The MACD seems to indicate that, although it's not particularly in divergence. Here's where this divergence began right here, right? Here's where the divergence is, straight down here. It began right here, and it's been in divergence, but it's now it's now recovered and, and resolved that divergence. So it's a question of whether or not this thing is still valid as a downtrend. Um, you can see on the higher time frame, the MACD is negative here as well. So uh, 
I think we probably have a lot of sentiment in the market of people waiting for the Fed to potentially raise short-term rates, which is going to squeeze interest rate margins and potentially put the financials in some distress. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, here's another one, Harmon. Same thing, uh, you know, downward weekly trend. So could we catch a three or four or five day swing trade down on this? Maybe. Let's look at some others down here that maybe are have a little bit more of a downslope. Here's uh, Gap Stores. The problem here is this is hugely oversold. So this is in maybe some kind of temporary little rally back up into these averages here. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to touch that. Uh, Exxon potentially. Yep, it's so far up here. Uh, you know, all the energies have been recovering, but this is still, you know, if you pay any attention at all to the news, you know that uh, we're in a vast oversupply of oil right now. Oil has continued to be under pressure and in pricing. This is hurting all of the oils, except the refiners. Uh, Amphenol. Yeah, no, I don't see that. <clears throat> so here you go. There's another one. But you see, you know, these MACDs on the dailies are all looking like this which, you know, this rally may have a while still to run. Even though things are looking overbought, um, this is showing a lot of strength. Uh, let's take another one. Fastenal, you know, right up against its declining moving average. So this and overbought, you know, another and, excuse me, another one very, very much above all its daily averages. So, you know, here we see it's moving down right now. There might be some some motion there, but this is not a really great shorting market right now. Anyway, that is uh, how to create a very simple, uh, what I would call a day swing trading scan. We're looking for overbought by, uh, let's say, 60 on the stochastics, and we probably will go down into the 70s or 80s on the list to find it, and then we're going to look at the weekly moving average so we trade in two time frames this is the trend we're trading this is the execution of the trade in the in the daily time frame i hope that's helpful to y'all um you know feel free to drop me a line if you like and and ask questions uh, fire away uh i don't have the email on there but it's ted at ttryanco.com if you would like to shoot me an email with uh, with questions about how we use uh, tc2000 and feel uh, feel free to Join us for a free trial.